Hey there guys, I'm Lee and welcome to iMineBlocks. So in today's video, I wanna go about setting expectations when it comes to mining and showing you my results so you can see those and kind of get a better understanding of uh, what your own personal results might be. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is a 24 hour mining test. Now, maybe some of you guys have got a single GPU mining rig or a workstation, gaming PC, that kind of thing. Um, maybe you want to put it to use or you're not too sure whether it is worthwhile when it comes to cryptocurrency mining. So in this video, what I'm gonna show you is my performance with my own personal kind of gaming uh, machine. It's actually the machine that I'm recording on right now, but essentially it's a, I'd say, um, a high spec, mid to high spec gaming rig. So I'll show you a quick picture of what that machine looks like now. And inside you can see uh, this machine, it has a i5 uh, 6600K. So the CPU is a couple of years out of date. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and the GPU, which is the most important part when it comes to mining, is a gigabyte Aorus and it's a 1080 Ti. So the GPU is what we're going to be using for our mining efforts. And like I say, the purpose of this video is really to kind of get a good, real, basic home world result that you guys can uh, reproduce and actually improve upon. I've left everything super simple and super basic so you guys can easily reproduce my results and in fact you should actually get much better results yourself i'll explain more about that in a moment so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take you through kind of the setup the process and then a break down the numbers nothing too complicated a super easy uh breakdown of the numbers i know you guys uh, kind of get put off by some of those uh, details um so no spreadsheets or anything like that i'll just kind of show you my results and you can you know do with that as you wish uh, hopefully it'll be good for you so uh, let's jump into the next part. Okay, so here's me starting up the mine. You can see I've created a unique Ravencoin address uh, to share the results with you and just kind of keep it very uh, focused and see exactly what we're dealing with. Using the T-Rex miner, which is an NVIDIA based miner, and you can mine Ravencoin and some other algorithms. Uh, with GPU-Z up and running, you can see the power usage comes up and we're using between 200 and to 210 watts on the GPU. I've got the power limit set at 85% and I've left the stock, uh, the clocks at stock levels. The only other difference is a custom uh, fan power uh, curve. So that's the miner up and running and you can see it's just over 10 a.m. So here you can see it's the next day, just after 10 a.m. the following day. You can see the miner, in this case, it's only been running for a short period of time, it's not actually 24 hours. Problem was the miner crashed partly through testing so i think i lost between an hour maybe up to two hours maximum taking a look at the raven miner the pool you can see that we mined a 17.426 raven and just taking a look down at the hash rate area you can see there's just that drop off just towards the end i was considering adding an extra hour on but i just really wanted to kind of keep it super simple a fixed 24 hour period um, including the downtime so bear that in mind there's an hour maybe two that have been lost during that period of time Okay, so that's the end of the test. Just to show you a little bit more information, I did record the difference between uh, when the GPU is mining and also the idle system power. So you can see those results here and here. And also I recorded the uh, on the Wattman, the star uh, current power use and also the ending uh, power use at the end of the test as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the numbers. So you can see at the start of the test, the total power according to the Wattman was 45.39. So that's our starting. I could have started it from zero and, and gone from there, but uh, to save resetting the Wattman, we started at 45.39. The total power consumed at the end was 52.26 uh, kilowatt hours. That's measured in. So that means during the last 24 hours, the total power used by the entire system, so that's GPU, CPU, the entire PC, is 6.87 kilowatt hours. Now in the UK, I pay about 12 and a half pence per kilowatt hour. You can check on your electricity bill to see what your power usage is or costs are. And that equates to about 16 cents per kilowatt hour. So 6.87 kilowatts, which is the power used in the 24 hour period times the cost, gives us a cost price or running cost of $1.10. So the next part is our earnings. So mined Ravencoin. We mined 17.426 and at the current 
dollar uh, price, it's 0.62 cents. Uh, it's actually dropped uh, 10 percent down from yesterday so that's uh, worth noting quite quite dramatic change just there and these are all the different aspects that cause um, your profits to be higher or lower so that gives us a earnings of one dollar and eight cents so on this 24 hour period if you consider the entire running costs we actually lost two cents so you might think well that sucks what's the point so there's a couple of uh, other points that I want to uh, make you aware of because it's not just um, as simple as that. Uh, so I want to share a few more details with you because um, this does not paint the complete picture. And it's important to consider these other things because small other details can actually make a, a huge difference to your profits. So the kind of the first and foremost is if we consider the GPU only, which is the part that is doing the majority of the work, the CPU and everything was basically all idle in the background. So now if you're going to be using this machine as like a workstation, or you're doing your homework or, uh, you know, whatever kind of uh, research and stuff like that, and you've got your GPU running in the background, you will have a completely different um, return. Um, so if you're using your PC anyway, then consider mining in the background. That's that, you know, that way you're going to get the best results from it. So if you consider just the GPU only and the GPU power costs, so with our GPU, it uses around 210 watts. So the total power consumption over the last 24 hours would be 5.04 kilowatt hours, again at 16 cents. That gives us our GPU running cost of 80 cents. So quite a bit down from the entire system, look at about 75%. So again, same mind raving coin, of course, 17.426, and at the same uh, cost if we was to sell it today. So our earnings would be the same, a dollar and eight. That gives us a profit of 28 cents. So the point being is like your profit is determined on um, exactly how you, how you want to go about uh, determining your overall profit, whether you're considering the entire system or you're considering just the GPU only. So for you guys, it's gonna be different. So I wanted to share with you uh, the numbers from both uh, points of view. Okay, so I've gone through the numbers with you. So if you consider the entire system, you basically lost two cents. If you consider the GPU only, then you made 28 cents. But there's a few other details that I really want to kind of stress in this video um, because those numbers don't kind of show you all, all the results. What I've tried to show you here is kind of like a real world example, but there's lots of other things that you can do to influence these numbers and get uh, essentially much better results. And that's really what I wanted to, do, to get across to you guys. I wanted to kind of kind of do a bad job of this so that you guys could reproduce it and you know do, do a much better job. So first and foremost is the 24 hour test, as I explained with the miner, the miner did uh, crash. So I don't know exactly how much time I lost, but I think it was between one to two hours. So that's not a massive um, amount overall, but that could be affect our earnings between five and 10%. So we could have actually mined five to 10% less Ravencoin. So obviously that affects your earnings. So bear that in mind, it wasn't you know, a full solid 24 hour mining period, unfortunately, because it did crash. The other point is that um, I didn't um, tweak the GPU, make it any massive changes to the um, the optimization of the GPU. I didn't change the clocks or the memory clocks. And um, the only thing I had was an 85% uh, power limit. Um, that's actually not the best setup uh, when mining Ravencoin. I've not really dug uh, deeply into it, but I know from you guys and from my own personal experience that tweaking with the settings, you can probably get between 10, uh, at least 10% more gains from uh, your mining hardware in terms of performance or in terms of efficiency. So that's a big difference uh, there as well. The other point is, is if you're mining, um, you know, and just considering on a 24 hour period, you're only kind of uh, getting a snapshot for a, a very narrow window of time. If you're mining over weeks and months, you kind of get a much uh, broader view of everything so that you can kind of uh, um, understand the ecosystem a little bit better and also the marketplace and you'll get a better average um, overall. So it's difficult to show you these results on just a one day kind of event. You know, for example, if I showed you and the Ravencoin price is massively up today or massively down today, the, the results will look completely different. So uh, with these things, try and uh, look look a bit further afield. Don't, don't just focus it on, on a one day um, event. So the other thing to consider as well is I wanted to share with you kind of on a single GPU uh, workstation or gaming PC. 
it's obviously not going to get you the best results but what i wanted to show you is that you can kind of start with any hardware that you got this is quite a high end machine but if you've got a lower spec machine you know maybe a, an older um, 900 series nvidia card or amd it doesn't really matter it's really just to kind of show you and set your expectations to what your earnings may likely be and at the moment obviously those earnings are quite small you're certainly not going to get rich um, unless you take a different kind of strategy maybe you're going to mine these coins and hold them for the future and you know and, and take a chance in it or maybe you're going to mine and take some direct profits and buy i don't know a new game or something like that, that that's an option for you uh, a few other things to consider as well is your power cost here in the uk power cost is i think it's quite expensive um other parts of the world i've seen people pay like eight cents and other people pay uh, 30 cents or uh, it depends exactly where you are so these earnings for you could be uh, quite close to what you might expect or they could be dramatically different uh, your power costs are obviously a big factor but if you're in i don't know if you're living with parents or in student accommodation uh, it might be possible for you to completely write off those power costs in which case you're going to get a complete revenue from your earnings um, and that's about a dollar a day which ain't bad for for you know like a passive income Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I really just wanted to share with you some of my kind of uh, basic results and uh, set your expectations for this. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, give it a like if you did like it and uh, let me know your thoughts and experience in the comments area below. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.